the honeycomb cable pattern. Hi guys, I'm Kristen, and today we are knitting up this vintage honeycomb cable knit stitch pattern. It looks really intricate to knit, but it's actually quite simple. I consider this an easy level project because it is perfect for everyone who is ready to learn how to cable, who already knows how to knit and purl. With an easy knitting repeat of just eight rows that are really simple to memorize, you can create this beautiful and modern looking pattern. And I love looking at the inside of the honeycomb pattern right here. Oh, and I wanna show you, this is what the wrong or the back side of the honeycomb cable pattern looks like. So this is not a reversible pattern. It definitely has a distinct right and wrong side to it. For the complete written pattern, everything is on my website. I have that linked down below, so make sure to check that out. You also can pin this pattern on Pinterest to save it for later. And I'm also working on creating the pattern for this easy ear warmer headband. Also a little simple one row hairband as well. It makes a great gift. So make sure you are subscribed here on YouTube to Studio Knit so that you'll catch that as soon as it comes out. And for our materials, it's a knit stitch pattern. So feel free to use any weight yarn and appropriate size knitting needles for your project. You'll also want a little cable needle for our cabling, as well as scissors and a tapestry needle. And I just wanna point out for my cable needle, I'm just using a little double pointed needle here that I painted so that it'll be easy for you to differentiate my cable needle from my regular knitting needles once we get started on that. And if you like the way that this pattern is knitting up, then I have the exact materials linked down below where you can purchase this yarn as well. Casting on. So to begin, we create our beloved slip knot and then using the long tail cast on method, and I have all the techniques linked down below, we are casting on in multiples of eight stitches. So I'm casting on eight, and then I'm continuing to cast on as many stitches as I'd like in multiples of eight. And in this sample, I'm using five multiples of eight. So what does that make it? 40 stitches total for me right here. So I wanna give you an overview of exactly how to knit this pattern. To begin, row one is simply knitting all. So you knit every single stitch on row one until you reach the end of your row. Then on row two, we are purling all because this has a stockinette stitch look to it. So row two is purling all and we'll be doing that for all of our even rows as well. Okay, row three, this is where the fun begins. So we are going to take our cable needle and we're going to slip two stitches, slipping them purl wise. So that's inserting it right like this. And then we're holding those two stitches back. And then we begin knitting two stitches from our main needle. So from our main needle, we're knitting one stitch and then another while those two stitches are being held back on the cable needle. Now we bring our cable needle into play and we just knit two stitches from that. Next, it is slipping two stitches again, but we're holding it front. And then we knit two stitches from our main needle one and two while our cable needle is being held in the front. And then we knit those last two stitches from the cable needle. And this is a total of eight stitches. So you just continue this pattern all the way down the row, repeating it between the asterisks in the pattern. Good going, you got to the end, so it's getting easy now. Row four is simply purling all of your stitches all the way down the row. Row five, we're just knitting all the stitches. Row six, we're purling all of our stitches. 
And then row seven, this is the final cable row that we have. It's really similar to what we did. It's just a little bit opposite. So we are slipping two stitches onto our cable needle. But to begin, now we're going to hold it in the front. And then we knit two stitches from our main needle. And then finish that up by knitting two stitches from our cable needle. Okay, let's slip two stitches onto our cable needle again. And now we are holding it back. So we knit two stitches from our main needle. And then we're knitting two stitches from the cable needle. And again, you just repeat these eight stitches all the way down the row. And then on row eight, you're just purling all of your stitches. And when you're done with row eight, begin again on row one, continue knitting this up until your piece is the length you desire. I just love seeing how this pattern knits up. So after you do your first eight rows and you carry on, you'll see how that little honeycomb area is also appearing in between right here. So it just looks like a great honeycomb of little ringlets that are all attached in a really beautiful modern pattern. I hope you are inspired to knit up this honeycomb knit stitch pattern. It is really simple and very impressive. And as soon as I have my little hair accessories and my ear warmer ready for you, make sure to get that pattern as well. It's a great quick knit gift idea for you. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.